Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the next seven days, seven days from the date that you watch it, okay? Or it's being recorded on the 28th, so you could say October 28th through November 3rd. We have one card fall out. What do we have now? Oh, we got two. What do we have for Aquarius? Kite, vacation. Now, I think you got this before. I think you did. Dogs, getting together with friends. So, getting together with friends is prominent. Maybe you need a vacation. I think vacation, we got that recently. You need a vacation. What do we have for Aquarius? Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Or whatever, wherever it falls in your chart. That's too many. Three, 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 three. Your prayers have been heard. Mind, body, and spirit union. Okay, definite decision being made. Uh, the decision is being made. Okay, it's time of uh, growth and expansion. Winter, winter is prominent. Something big is gonna happen in the next three months. Big time of expansion. The next three months are going to be a time of expansion for you. What do we have? I think we're gonna go with this deck instead for Aquarius. Winter is prominent. Your prayers have been heard. You're gonna be getting together with friends. What do we have for Aquarius? Ten of Pentacles, upright. So that is abundance, right? It's financial success. It's flourishing, flourishing money, a career, uh, an increase. Maybe it's an increase of money. Um, it could be even getting an inheritance or a windfall or something like this. Or, and just it could be just an increase. Whatever it is, there's flourishing long term. Uh, financial success put it that way some of you may be changing getting a change in your living situation it could be a new job that pays you more money whatever it is this is a financial abundance Ooh, ace of cups reversed that's your challenge so emotional is very emotional emotions all over the place there could definitely be a change in your living situation but there's, I mean, the Ace of Cups is an emotional loss. So I'm not sure what is going on there. Underneath it, Knight of Pentacles reverse could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Pap Capricorn. Uh, this is in your past position, the Tower. I think that the Tower reversed. Something has probably happened that was very destructive to your life. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, may also be dealing with an Aries. It has to do with your foundation or your job. Major disruption. I think that you've experienced some sort of... It was unexpected, an unexpected uh, change that shook up your life, that may have shaken up your foundation. It may have been extremely emotional, but there's some sort of reward that is coming out of it. I don't know if you dealt with somebody that was unfaithful. They may have, they may have even been some emotional cheating here. An emotional cheating, maybe it's you. I mean, if you're the cross watcher, this could be your Aquarius. This could be somebody that emotional cheating is a real thing it's when somebody is in a relationship but they develop you know an intimate connection with somebody over communication it doesn't even have to be sexual intimacy is very intellectual so I feel like we have somebody I feel like we have emotional cheating here where somebody has been engaging with another person you know um while they were in a commitment or already in a, uh, a foundation. And I feel like the, that things have started to crumble. I think that something has been revealed in regards to that emotional cheating or that unfaithfulness. I mean, because developing intimacy with another person, when you're, when you're sharing your life and you're going over all your, your successes and your failures and your, 
your ups and downs with another person, you're building a bond with that person. That is emotional cheating if you are already in a commitment with somebody else. I'm wondering if somebody, I feel like that's what something, I feel like that's what has happened. Strength card above you. Six of pentacles in the future. Star card reversed. Six of wands reversed. The emperor and the Knight of Wands reversed. So, and on the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Swords reversed. I feel like we have somebody here that has done something very reckless, or they're doing something reckless right now with the Nine of Wands, re the Knight of Wands reversed, the Knight of Swords reversed. This is negative, out of control. Uh, we have a know-it-all here that doesn't want to accept responsibility. This may be somebody that needs constant attention with the Knight of Wands reversed up there. Overly competitive. There could definitely be a sudden departure here. Something is happening or has happened extremely suddenly. Um, there's been a false sense of security. There's been false impressions. Somebody has been pretending that everything is good on the outside and it ain't. Okay, the inside is a mess. It's a big, huge mess. But to the outside world, it may look like it's stable. It's not. It's really not. Um, I feel like right now you may be finding your strength and your courage and your confidence and your willpower to let go of something that you've been holding on to. Maybe it's fear. Okay, maybe you're, you're focusing on your health. You're focusing on who you are. Um, there is emotions all over the place. And I think that there's emotions all over the place over a foundation that you created with somebody. Um, I feel like you're going to, there's, there's what goes around comes around here. And the future is the six of pentacles. So I feel like, you know, you get what you deserve, whether it's you or the other person. So I feel like there's going to be some, you're going to be receiving something. Okay. You're going to be receiving something. Um, But below you is the Knight of Pentacles reversed. There's a basis of the situation. Lack of commitment, unfaithfulness, disloyalty, not putting in any effort. You may have been dealing with somebody who is lazy or they were boring. You know, this person, they didn't focus on you, which caused this disruption, which caused this um, major event. I feel like there's somebody here that didn't do the work you know they didn't put in effort you know and they were i feel like there's unfaithfulness here there's some so and i think it's emotional unfaithfulness so it's like emotional cheating or something like that um and there may even be real unfaithfulness here or just somebody that had their own issues where they were so lazy they they may have started out strong but then they gave up and when they gave up they gave up um I feel like your power in the situation, unfortunately, is the star card reversed. This is unfortunate. I feel like you may be depressed at this po point. You know, you may be in a state of despair. Maybe something, and, and it's denial. I feel like you're you're in a place of fear. It, it, I, I can't believe this is happening. I can't believe this has come out. I can't believe this has happened. You may be shocked. Something has happened that has absolutely shocked you. Um, or you're going to get a shock. You're also going to get something that you deserve, okay, with the Six of Pentacles in the future. Your outside influence, Six of Wands reverse, whoever you're dealing with is it, that you're questioning isn't going to have any victory, okay? This is a one-hit wonder. This is a loser. Has no staying power. Whoever you're dealing with is having a setback in their life. They're not having victory. They're not getting any respect from others there's they're not getting um the admiration that they thought they were going to get they probably have a lot of regrets um whoever you are dealing with is feeling hopeless about the situation maybe you've rejected them maybe you had to reject them maybe you had to reject them because they were just after your money they weren't they weren't uh committed they weren't committed to focusing on a foundation with you I don't know if you've been in, involving yourself with somebody that's in a third party or your partner got involved with a third party. We have these threes here. I feel like we do have a third party situation. Um, you're about to receive something that you totally... I'm sorry, my nose is itching. Uh, you're about to receive something that you totally don't expect, okay? You totally don't expect it. I feel like you've had to be really, really strong to overcome some sort of 
uh, waiting period of some sort. I feel like whoever you are also dealing with probably was uh, very scared. They're really scared. They're scared of what everybody will gonna, is going to say if, if they follow their heart. Somebody's been ignoring their emotions. They've been ignoring their feelings. Um, and they've been in staying put in a situation that is based on false pretenses. Um, there is, there could be a sudden departure or a sudden arrival here, you know, with that Knight of Swords reverse and the Knight of Wands reverse. I feel like we have somebody here that has been extremely scared of, you know, I don't know, maybe being rejected. Um, I think that you've been uh, waiting for a decision to be made. Um, whoever you're dealing with is lacking confidence. They are lacking confidence. They are really struggling right now. There's somebody that you are dealing with that is not having any success. They see your stability. They see your capability. They see your... Uh, abundance okay this person sees your abundance they see it they see it but they're in some sort of foundation right now that is all false that they can't find their inner strength to remove themselves from um this is um this is uh i don't know if you're dealing with a leo aries you have aries a couple times taurus virgo capricorn um we also have another aquarius but anyhow i do feel like we have somebody here that is about to make a decision um, I don't know if it's going to be right now. There could be a delay with the Knight of Wands reverse. It could be, and it could even be a delay with the Knight of Swords. Either the decision is going to happen impulsively, because it could be extremely fast, a very impulsive decision. And if that was the case, if it was going to be an impulsive, it would be three days, three weeks, or three months. Okay? Um, we do have a third party situation here. By winter, things are going to be all settled, okay? Uh, by winter, by winter, things are going to be all settled. I feel like you have been trying to remain calm. I feel like you are in a position where you are controlling your emotions, you're mastering your emotions, you're keeping yourself under control. There's something that is heartbreaking here. You, your heart may be feeling distraught over somebody that you're dealing with. Okay, there's somebody here that um, isn't really putting in much effort and it's because of a previous foundation that they are in. But their foundation is crumbling, okay? It's crumbling, it's not stable, it's not solid, it's crumbling if it hasn't crumbled already, okay? I feel like you're about to receive some something that you don't expect, which I know that I already said. There's something, and I'm, it's interesting that I'm holding so tight because it feels like this is heartfelt. I feel like you're gonna, you, there's tears, okay? Some, you're gonna receive something that brings tears to your eyes, put it that way. I think it's actually, I think it's actually positive, believe it or not. I think a decision is going to be made. A decision is going to be made. You're about to receive because the Six of Pentacles is about receiving support or assistance or something like that. Now, this could even have to do with child support or support from a husband or support from a father. Or the emperor is a person that is in a position of authority that is making a decision. This person is going to be taking charge. They're going to make a decision based on the facts. But right now, there's some sort of fear or there's lack of confidence or something like that. This person is probably thinking about how they are going to do this in a justified manner. You know, how are they going to, how can I do this the right way? Devil reverse next to that emperor. So severing ties or things getting worse. The severing ties from a toxic situation, breaking free. So there is somebody that is in your environment that is currently in the process of making a decision. They are going to be breaking, somebody's breaking free from a toxic situation. It's unhealthy. They are going to be breaking free. There's no staying power in their current situation. There's no victory. There's no sex. success. Maybe there's no sex. 
Anyhow, they're going to be breaking free and they're going to be going after what they deserve and they want balance. They want to, it's like they're, it's like taking away and giving to you. What is this Knight of Wands reversed? Ooh. Ten of Cups reversed. Unhappy relationship. Dying dream. Whew, unhappy. Somebody is very, very unhappy. They're, and they may even be angry. Angry about the end of a relationship. Somebody's angry. They're angry. They're upset. They are very, they're not in a good place because the relationship has ended. I don't know if you have stopped giving emotionally to somebody, you've stopped investing emotionally, maybe you're investing in your home, you're investing in your business, you're investing in your career. You know, you've found your strength to let go of something. That's what it looks like to me. A false sense of security. I think that you have found, and you're healing, and you're, you're in a good place. You know, I feel like you're in a really good place mentally. And I feel like you've dealt with somebody that is unfaithful or lazy or whatever. And now that you have, you know, turned your back on this situation, I feel like whoever this person is that is in the position to make a decision, who you've been waiting for this person to make some sort of decision, while you've been waiting, you've been focusing on yourself, you know, and your health and you know, your home, your business, whatever, this person has been suffering, okay? This person it has been uh, planning, planning how they're going to break free, planning how they're going to handle the situation. They've been depressed, okay? They've been, um, how am I going to get out of this? How am I going to do this? You know, that kind of thing. Um, very unhappy. This person is very unhappy, angry, Um I'm not sure if you're dealing with somebody that really doesn't want responsibility. We have the Knight of Wands reversed and the Six of Wands reversed and the Knight of Pentacles reversed. So I feel like you've been dealing with somebody that doesn't really want responsibility. It's like they want to have they want to have uh, the victory, right? They want to have the victory. They want to have the abundance, but they don't really want to work for it. You know, they don't want to. They don't want to commit. They don't really want to commit. So it's interesting. There could be a sudden departure of a relationship here. The last two cards. Okay, well we have winter, ten of cups reverse, knight of wands. Okay, it goes just like this. Can't see him very well, but so <laughs> winter something in winter. There's a relationship that is coming to an end. Somebody's gonna replace their fear. Okay, they're gonna end the relationship. They're gonna the relationship is ending by winter. Sudden. It's sudden. I feel like we have, I don't know if this is a judge or a father figure or somebody that is making a decision. They're making a decision and I feel like they're making a decision to that they want reciprocation, you know, they want balance, they want equality, they want equal give and take in their life. So that's aiding in the decision. Where they're at, there's no victory, there's no success, there's it's there's it's a fail, okay? There's there's no recognition, right? There's no respect either. So we have an individual that right now is very, very, very depressed over losing. I feel like they're they're depressed over losing you. This could even be a boss that is severing ties. There is some ties that are about to be severed. And and I don't know, because it's sad. But it's bittersweet because you're about to receive something even better because it goes the Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups reversed, the Six of Pentacles, and then the Devil reversed. So it, it is bittersweet because you lose something to gain. This is, it is, it is a profit and a loss. It really is. You lose to gain, which is interesting. Um, I do believe that you have somebody around you that... This person lacks confidence. They, 
don't have any faith, if they don't believe in, they don't believe in themselves, they, it's sad. It is sad that you're dealing with somebody that lacks self-confidence. They don't believe in themselves. They have no faith. They have a lot of fear, you know, and they engage in negative patterns because... I don't know why. Because of their ego? Death reverse. Holding on is getting old. This is a disaster. It is a dis disaster. We have somebody here that is losing a battle. They've they've been they've been holding on to a dead end, holding on to a toxic situation. But they want something more. They really really want something. There's going to be an ending here. There is definitely going to be an ending here. It's going to be sudden. It is. I know that it's going to be sudden. Things are going to change really, really, really fast. Okay. Um, there's going to be increased messages pretty soon. I'd say really soon you're going to see an increase. You're going to see th things speed up. This does definitely have to do with intimacy and emotional connection. Somebody has developed an emotional well, I call it emotional cheating, but it's an emotional connection with another person. Okay, and I don't maybe they maybe they haven't even had sex, but the connection is it's an intellectual int intimacy type of thing where the bond is deepening through intellect, okay? Um why is this happening? Why now? It's totally unexpected. And I feel like that it, it is. I think it came out of nowhere. It was like it wasn't expected. It wasn't expected for this to happen. But it happened. It happened. So um, there's going to be movement. There is going to be movement. Whoever you're waiting on is in the process of making a decision. And they are stressed. They are very unhappy with the current circumstances. Eight of Swords, trapped, trapped in fear, bound to a situation. We see that with the devil as well. Okay, we have somebody here that is tied to a situation right now. They are definitely angry. They're suffering. They're in a state of despair. They want to break free, but they can't find their mental strength to do so. But it's coming. This person is going to break free. They are going to break free. Right now, they're in a place, and it could be you that's breaking free. This is a mental prison. This is this is trapped, held back, held back in mental turmoil. But thinking about, because this is looking right at the Six of Pentacles, looking, looking at uh, reciprocation, looking at equality, looking at something more, looking at, you know, uh, balance. This is somebody that wants balance and harmony and reciprocation and equality. And they want to receive, you know, they want to, I think that they want to work with you. You know, they want to partner up with you. That's what I think. But I feel like this person is so scared. They are so, they're in their ego because ego is fear. Okay. We have somebody here that is so, so, so scared. They are, they're scared. They're scared of, of, uh. Well, I don't know. What are they scared of? King of Cups reversed, opening their heart. They're scared of opening their heart. They're scared of showing their emotions. This is somebody that typically hides their emotions. The Emperor, absolutely. This is somebody that is very rigid and distant that is scared to open their heart. Knight of Cups reversed. Knight of Cups reversed is <laughs> definitely scared to open their heart. So there's somebody here that is... Uh, Scared of relationships, maybe even scared of commitment. Scared of being rejected. Because the Knight of Cups reverse is a rejection. So we probably have somebody here that is scared of rejection. They probably feel like they're not good enough. Winter, things are going to change. They are going to change. I feel like, I feel like you're, you're dealing with somebody that is in, or maybe it's you, there's somebody here that is in an unrequited love situation and they're stuck in it, they're trapped in it, maybe because of the assets, maybe because of the home, you know, maybe because of the business, you know, they're trapped in it. They want to break free. 
but they haven't found the courage to do so. And I feel like, you know, maybe it's going to be three weeks. Maybe it's going to be three days. Maybe it's going to be three months. Okay. But your prayers have been heard. Okay. Um, this is going to end. Magician reverse. No success. It's down below. No success. Not taking any action. Too much fear. Lack of awareness. Unaware. 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 We have somebody here that is unaware. They are unawakened as well. They're not using their resources. They're not finding a way. We have somebody here that probably feels as well as that they're not qualified. They feel like they're not good enough. I do feel like we have an unplanned ending here and there's been an unplanned arrival. Okay. I think that's what's happened. I think something has, or there's been an unplanned, you know, connection. So anyhow, I feel like this week there's probably, I think there's going to be messages. I think there's going to be some sort of communication. Um, I still think there's a delay. I feel like there's whoever you're dealing with is really in their feelings. They're really in their feelings. You know, they may be even crying or they could be repressing their emotions. Right now they're trapped. They're trapped and their ego is in the way. Their ego is in the way of, uh, and what, you know, ego is pride. It's materialism. It's things. You know, things are holding them back from happiness. That's a huge life lesson now, isn't it? So by winter, by winter, we have a relationship that is about to end. Okay, it's going to, when it ends, it's going to be spur of the moment. It's just going to, it's going to be just like that. Good luck.